What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I have some oranges. That's right. I got a bunch of oranges, courtesy of the Godzilla store. A couple of reissue exclusives. We got a Burning Godzilla and a Hedera. This was the uh, Hedera event, 50th anniversary event from last year exclusive. Um, you know, that a lot of people were selling for way too much money on. So I'm glad I never, uh, you know, tried to get it because now it came at normal price at the Godzilla store. Really nice card art. I did like it. I think it's cute. And, uh, you know, I, I don't recall what this one was an exclusive for, but it did come out in 2021, apparently. So, uh, yeah, there's that, Burning Godzilla, some sort of version that I'll probably just put in the description and not worry about it further than that. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's get to the room. So let's do articulation on these guys. Does the head move on this guy? It does. And then you got the arms that move at the biceps. And you got the leg. Oh my. There we go. And does the tail move? Oh. I would think the tail moves, but maybe not. So we'll, we'll call it 5 POA there. Um, and this guy, which we just reviewed a version of, I don't know. I feel like it's not too long ago, but I'm guessing it's months and months and months ago. Uh, the arms move, and that's it. I thought the tail moved, but it doesn't, and the feet, nope, just the arms, um, and that's just barely. So let's start out with this Burning Godzilla, Godzilla Festival Total Advanced Sinjoku version, something like that in some sort of order. Um, I tried. <laughs> Again, there's the card. Um... This is cool. This is cool. This is the Burning Godzilla mold uh, that we've seen before. Um, I think I've reviewed a version of this in the past. I'm pretty sure I did. We have it, so I must have reviewed it. Um, I don't have this figure currently in my possession. It is, you know, somewhere in Ultrazilla Jr.'s possession, uh, and I'm not going fishing for the original version. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but it's nice. It's nice. It's very nice. It's orange plastic. As you can see, the details are really pretty good. Nice chunky legs. I like them a lot. Bottom of feet. The tail looks pretty good. Really nice details there. As you can see, the dorsal fins are painted kind of uh, deeper, more metallic orange. I think they're painted. Or maybe just, I don't know, some other process of making this a different color. Um, but it appears to be painted yeah. that. So that looks pretty good. I like that. I like it a lot, actually. It's totally advancing on the original mold. Um, but I do like it. I think they look really good, and they look good in these colors. I gotta tell you, man. Wasn't the hugest fan of the regular Burning Godzilla. But I like it like this. This is cool or warm, um, but I do really like it. The arms look really nice, the belly, the chest. I don't know, I think, I feel like I see the details really well like this in this clear translucent orange plastic. I think the head looks really cool. Good Godzilla head. Very nice, actually. I love how the eyes are just blank, you know? I don't know, there's something about that. It is very cool. It's like, you know, Meltdown version. SDC Meltdown, SDCC Meltdown version, right? <laughs> we could probably uh, compare it to that at least. Uh, but I like it, man. The head sculpt is really good. The hands look really cool. I really like the dorsal plates. And there you go. Very cool to get this in the collection. And um, it's good. It's really good. It's sold out, but it's really good. As for the Burning Hedera from the Hedera Festival. This one has more paint on it than the other one. So you do have a orange base here in the plastic, but then as you can see, you got darker spots 
uh, which look cool, orange, reddish. And then you go into the hands and there's like kind of like, you know, brown on it, like poop, um, which looks pretty good. <laughs> if poop could look good. But really nice sculpt on the arms, which is cool. I do like it. Cool to see this mold one more time before the new one arrives, which I haven't at the time of this recording hit ship yet on my HLJ because I was waiting for something else to come in and now it came in and uh, it's probably on the way uh, <laughs> uh, as, you know, before you see this, but uh, you know, you'll see, you'll see that here eventually. You'll see it here eventually. But the tail looks really nice. I like, again, the brown. I think it looks really cool. And then the orange, the darker red orange going up here looks very nice. Beautiful back. Love that gold. That is really, really cool. Um, very, very nice. And I like the darkness around it. It, is, it feels burnt. You know, that brown makes it feel burnt. And I think that's excellent. Again, the sculpt is really good on this, you know, original mold here. Um, no problems with it whatsoever. The head sculpt is really good. The eyes look cool. It's like a kind of like a silvery white pearlescent white around the eyes and then the red in the eyes look amazing. Very well done. The black looks nice. Top of the head has that gold again, which is awesome. So very well done it's a good mold and you know this is you know i guess the one to see it out although i'm sure there might be variations but we don't know because as much as there is so many variations of hedera with the new mold out it's probably gonna it's gonna probably switch over to that one getting more variations but this is excellent i'm so glad they made this available one last time because um I really did want it. I just didn't want to pay like crazy uh, aftermarket prices for, you know, that event exclusive one. So that's awesome. I do like this a lot and uh, apologies for everyone that did pay a ton for this. Um, but yeah, this is great. And for your size comparisons, we're gonna keep this simple. The aforementioned SH Monster Arts uh, SDCC Comic Con Explosion version, which is so, so awesome. And uh, the previous um, Heater uh, variant, which also came out for the 50th. I forgot what version they called this one, but also excellent. I mean, it was honestly the first of this mold that I actually had. So I only have these two. So, um, I, and I love them. <laughs> and I love them. Uh, but I also love that. So very cool. And my final thoughts, both of these are great. So happy to have them. Um, I just, I think they're very cool in these colors. I, again, I said cool when they're warm. Hot, they're hot. Um, <laughs> but they are, they're very good. Uh, I really like them a lot. And I'm glad I was able to get them. I'm glad the Godzilla store popped them up one last time, or for the first time, honestly, for these two. Um, they were both exclusives to something, you know, the heater event, and I'm not 100% sure what the Godzilla one was exclusive to, I can't recall um, what the event was in particular, but didn't have it, glad I was able to get it, glad I was able to get both of them, and there you go. My one last thing I do have to say, I got these from Zen Market, um, well, I got them from the Godzilla store through Zen Market, however, Zen Market, you got, and I say this, you know, a lot, you gotta let people know when stuff comes into your warehouse. You know, you let people know when it's time to pay. You gotta let us know when stuff comes into the warehouse. You know, these were there for days before I even realized they were. And there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And please like, comment, subscribe, share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Until next time. Peace out.